for again. Got to pay these bills, save something. I need 10 more hours in a day. And when I'm feeling stuck, something else comes up. Sometimes I want to have fun, but I can't. Got problems that I'm dealing with. So many, so many, so many mistakes I made. I'm living with so many, so many, so many. But I gotta find a way to make it through today. I'm leaning on, I'm leaning on a song that says everything's gonna be, gonna be okay, okay. Stop carrying problems through your life. Just let it be, cause everything will happen So get up on your feet and stop worrying about things Everything's gonna change, gonna change when you surrender Get rid of bad people in your life Hey y'all, what's going on? How y'all doing? That's Welcome back to our channel <coughs> <laughs> Say hello, Philip. Hey Excuse me. We are at the gas station right now. Marante is going to pump gas, and then I have to go to Walgreens and get some medicine. So, what are you doing? Done. Okay. Oh. I got some news for you guys, and I know y'all gonna be like, "Really, girl?" But those who support me gonna support me, and those who got something to say, well. You know, got something negative to say or think. All I can say is God bless you. And I pray that it never happens to you. Um, and that's it. But. <laughs> I have. Y'all know I've been going to work and stuff. And I have been tired. Like I know in my grocery haul. Y'all probably heard it in my voice. In my other videos. I've just. My body has been tired. And I just figured okay. It's from me working. And working these different shifts. Still coming home. You know, I either record a video before I leave or I record when I get off. I have to, I'm staying up late to edit the videos to get them out. Um, and that's on both channels. And I know it's my thing. So it's like when you work with YouTube, that's up to you how often you want to put videos up or if you want to put them up, you know. So it's not an obligation. It's your thing. Um, and since that's what I do, that's what I do, you know. Um, I take my jobs very seriously, whether it's away from home or working with YouTube is still a job. I take everything that I do seriously. Just like my main job that I have, I take seriously as well. So, anyway, like I said, I've just been tired. Like, my body has been physically tired and I've been starting to feel bad. I've been having chest pains. My legs has been hurting, like, extremely bad to what it, I can, like, my joints are locking up. Yesterday while I was at work and I was walking around and I started getting bad pains in my leg and I just toughed it out, you know, because you got to work. You got to do what you got to do. Um, Can I put my seatbelt back on? Yes, put your seatbelt back on, please. And, and sit right here just in case I have You know, and it's just been rough. So, anywho, I had text, um, I had text my best friend and I was talking to her. And it's like, with, with us two... We can both be completely transparent with each other. It doesn't matter if I de if it's our deepest, darkest secret in the world. You know, we can tell each other and we don't have to worry about judgment or none of that. Um, and I told her how I've been feeling in my body and I've been feeling in my mind and spirit and stuff. And, you know, she was like, you got to take care of yourself. Why not one of you? And you're not feeling well, you have to take care of yourself. Um. And it's, and I get it, you know, I do, I get it. It's like when your body is telling you something is wrong, something is wrong, and you have to listen. And you guys already know what I deal with with my health. Y'all know it. My grave disease, my lupus, my heart issues and stuff. I've been trying my best to do everything that I can. I told y'all I wanted to work from home. I mean, I wanted to get a job away from home so I can have something for myself, you know, just to get out the house and have something for myself. And, you know, it's, <laughs> for whatever reason, my body is just not allowing it. Because um, I've been tired. And when I say in the cold way, I got up and got to look on the bus this morning. And I have, even when I'm on bed rest, I still have enough energy to get him up and get him ready for school. 
But it was like I had to make myself get out the bed. Yeah. Hopefully you don't need the idea of his medicine for me. And then give them tell them that they had tell them that they had the phone number you got the two whatever and give them my number. Just tell them the number that they had on file is yours and give them mine. And you know all his information and stuff. She's going to get this milk. So hopefully they'll let her pick it up. But um anyway, y'all. So um so yeah. So long story short, like I said, I just y'all know it's just it's been rough. Like I said, I could barely I could barely get out the bed. As soon as he got on the bus, I laid back in the bed and I went to sleep. I woke up around nine something, then I went back to sleep. I got me some fruit and got me some milk and I laid down and I didn't wake back up until like one. It was like one. I think almost one o'clock. My doctor had called. Like right after she responded back to me, my doctor's office called back. And I had went and got excuse me, I had went and got my, my routine blood work done yesterday before work. And usually I'll go the next week and see him. Or if I don't have an appointment that next week, they'll call and be like, you know, such and such is your blood work. But they called today and they was like, I'm in the middle of a lupus flare. And my numbers are so elevated. It has my heart rate elevated. It got my blood pressure and stuff up. Um, so they were saying like everything, my cholesterol is, my cholesterol is normal, but all my other levels and stuff, my kidney functions are high. Um, my ammonia function is high. And that messes with, you know, that has a lot to do with um, your kidneys also and stuff. So that's why i've been feeling so bad and y'all remember i told y'all when i went to my doctor what was that two a month and a half two months ago everything was looking good for like the last the last couple of months that i've been going everything was looking good and y'all remember i told y'all i didn't have to go back until december and that was my longest stretch because stuff was looking good so they okay me to go back to work part-time and i'm like dang i had a month and a half of everything looking good they okay me to go back to work and then Y'all know what happened at the casino. And it's like, now this. So, it's like, it's hurtful. I don't know if y'all ever been through this. Because a lot of people just don't care if they work or not. But I'm one of them people. I don't care if I have to have one or seven jobs. I'm going to take care of my family. And I've always been this way. And I took YouTube on because, for one, the kids was like, Mama, it'll, you know, it's something for you. Something for you to do. You enjoy it. You watch it. And I've been doing it for, what, five years almost? And so it's like something I've always just loved doing. And then it became, you know, a financial earning and stuff to me over the last three years. So it's like all of that, you know. But then at the same time, like I said, y'all know I was working from home with the health care reimbursement and stuff. But I just wanted something more. You know, I just wanted something more so I can go out and work. I had to pretty much beg my doctors to be able to just let me do it. But they was only going to do it when my numbers got a certain way. Now that they are, well, that they were, I was able to work. And then now I can't. And it's like, and they haven't told me yet. But she told me not to go today. Because I suppose I went today and I would have Thursday and Friday off. But she told me, um, my, doc, my nurse had told me that the doctor did not want me to go in today. And they was going to fax over my excuse. And I'll go back Saturday which will be my normal day. But the thing is, I got to go to my doctor Friday. So when I go to the doctor Friday, I'll know what they can say. And depending on what they tell me, is what I'm going to have to do from there. And I'm praying, I'm praying the selfish side of me, it's praying that everything will be okay and I'll eventually be able to go back to work. Because I told y'all, a year ago, it was no work in sight for me. You know, like they kept, they were telling me a year and two years ago, three years ago that I may never be able to work again. So just the fact that I was able to work two jobs, be it that it was both part-time away from home, it was a blessing. But it's like, I wanted, I told you all the position that I put in for, and it was like, it was a good thing. I was happy for myself, you know, and I was like, God is opening these doors. I put the application in, I got it. And I know this is nothing that God is doing. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is nothing that he is doing. He's not causing these issues with me because it's just what I have. He's getting me through it. Um, and it's like, I don't know, y'all. It's just so aggravating. 
And I'm just talking to y'all about it because, like I said, I'm always going to be transparent with y'all. And for those, you know, everybody who support me, I know y'all going to continue to support me and stuff. But it's like, it is the hardest thing in the world when you have health issues that fight against you so you can't do what you want to do. And y'all know it's like, I'm a mom caregiver. I take care of Phil. I'm a single parent. I juggle everything. I'm doing both YouTubes. I still have my other business that I do at home. But it's like, I just wanted to do something away from home. That was for me for longer, at least three months. Because I gave myself three months. Um, and I know the position that the training was for 90 days. It was part-time, even though, you know. Um, and it wasn't something that I wanted to do for years to come. I was just giving myself at least three months. And if my body was going to shut down and not allow me to do it, then I was going to listen. But it's like, dang, I couldn't even get to three weeks. <laughs> and it's like, oh, my God. And I want to say, you know, be like, well, God has a sense of humor. <laughs> but, and I know everything's going to be okay. I know everything is going to work out. I know God has a plan that I have not even seen yet. I still believe that. And I had did a video, and I haven't even put the video up yet because I was going to wait and let it go out this weekend. But I had did this video Sunday. And I was saying that what God has been doing in my life and how he's been opening doors and he's been allowing stuff to happen. He's been transforming me and just the things that he's been doing for me. Um, being where I'm at in my faith now, I'm not questioning. And please don't get me wrong. I'm not questioning anything that has happened. Usually I'll do the why me or oh my God again or here we go. I just was like, I can't believe this. Like, I couldn't even get three weeks. And I tried, man, I was tired. And all my videos was like a week behind. Like, every video that I have put out for you guys have been a week behind. So, this would have been my third full week. And it's like, I'm just tired. Like, my body, I can feel my body shutting down. Um, and I've been here before, so I had to get on bed rest. I was here not that long ago, and I was on bed rest. And I, when my doctor was like, okay, you know, we're going to allow you to get you something part-time, I was so happy because, like I said, I just wanted to be able to get out the house pretty much and, like I said, have something that was just for me. But, you know, sometimes God has something more for you, you know. Because um, I'm like, yeah, I can still get out the house and do something for me, and it might just be walk around the store, go shopping, or go do whatever. You know, so it's like my definition of going out and having something for me, it may, God might not want it in the form of a job because I do have a job. I have two jobs, but I just wanted to go out. Like I said, I just wanted to go out and have something for myself in a form of a job. That was my, that was, I don't want to say selfishness, but that was my thing. I wanted it in the form of a job, but God might be saying, no, I don't want this for you in the form of a job. You know, you can go and do this or you might be, you know, he may have something for me to, to where it, I'm trying to see how I want to say this. You know, God might have something for me to, oh, that's just for me, that's away from home, but does not come in a form of a job. And it's like, I'm seeing that and I get like a lot of. I don't, I don't know. Like, I can't even begin to even explain it to you guys. But it's like, I get a lot of different visions almost. Or it's different signs that I know God is telling me this and pulling on this and pulling on this and tugging at me. And showing me different visions. And sometimes we get scared when we see it. Because it's like, okay, is this the devil? Because <laughs> I don't want to do this. It's like, no devil. But it's like, you know it's from God. But you just don't understand it. You don't understand why. You don't understand the clarity behind it. And then you question it like, no, I don't think this is for me. Like, God, you can't be saying this for me. I can't do this, you know. But then, like I said, we do block our blessings. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to quit being stubborn and be like, God, I hear you. I hear you. And, you know, being submissive, being submissive to God. It's truly the most difficult thing in the world. People think it's easy, but when you in your faith, and 
you, when you in your faith and when you are transitioning into this new, um, this new part in your life and this new way of thinking and new journey spiritually, um, when you get there, you know what I'm saying? When you get to that place and that point, and like I say, you begin to question. Sorry, I had to back up so they can. Oh, they let you get it? Okay, good. You know, and like I said, when you get to that point in your life, and, it, you know, it's just questions, you know what I'm saying? It's just, I don't know. I, I, like I, said, I don't know, y'all. I, but I, what I do know is that I'm just, I'm going into just different seasons. And because of these different seasons, I'm just going to, let God just work in me and through me. And I'm going to let him do what he do. I'm not going to question it. I'm not going to question him anymore. I'm not going to doubt him no, anymore. Well, tell him to hold on. Yeah, I'm not going to question him anymore. I'm not going to doubt anything with God anymore. Um, because, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I know he's, he's doing it. You know what I'm saying? I know he's, he's doing it. He's putting the basket. He's right there. Oh, she did let you get it. You ain't even Molly. So, yeah. Oh, they just wanted to give you the whole four cases this time. Huh? It's like three and a half. The other the bottom wait, box. Wait, wait, y'all. Is your foot in there all the way? Yeah. Bottom box don't have a lot in there. Oh. They just didn't put it. She was like, man. She's like, this look expensive. Yep, it is. I gave him your number. She said, you must be used to getting this milk. I said, yeah. yeah. I might drink one right now. Oh, you got to wait till that. You got some at home in the fridge. Yeah, okay. that milk is expensive. That's why I said, I think the one his insurance does cover it. Why don't they send it to Walmart? The, the Walmart said they distribution center just doesn't have it. And they, so I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Yes, we're going home. I was going to stop at Walmart, but I'll go to more. I know you're hungry. But, <laughs> I'm uh, but I'm telling y'all, I don't know. Like I said, it's just hard. And I told the kids, and I haven't told Alicia yet. Um, Alicia, I told you I don't know yet. But Deontay was like, well, mama, I don't want you sick. He was like, I don't care if it's 200 or $10,000. I don't want you sick because you will be sick and that money will be there. And Rante, what did you say? I don't think Rante said anything about it. I see, how she, I see how she looked at me. And that's the thing. I don't want to bother. I don't Rante. like to bother First anybody. Time, I don't like to one, ask like, anyone for you anything. Like no. So that's another yeah, reason. Yeah, that's sad. Like, you know, if you was riding on a brick street and it was hard. That's another reason why I just fell, wanted to do extra yourself. things. Because I hate to ask anybody for anything. <laughs> um, you know. <laughs> And being a single mom, it's not no easy road, you know what I'm saying? And when you have to, because like I say, my bills always get paid, but it's just, it just be like, I don't want to ask anybody for nothing, you know what I'm saying? And especially my kids, because I don't ever want to have my kids to take care of me. And, you know, but it's like, I know I'm going to do everything I have to do for Philip. I'm going to continue doing everything I have to do for him. It's like I have been. None of that is ever going to change. You know, it's just, I understand that I do have to take care. I do have to just listen to my body. And I have to know that God knows what's best at the end of the day. You know, no matter what we say, no matter what we do, no matter what we think. Because I, the selfish part of me knows that I can seriously sit here and go to work tomorrow and be at work and pass out or get sick. You know what I'm saying? Like my pastor say, you get sick, you get sick at work and something happened and you can't go back the next day, they still gonna fire you and they're gonna replace you with somebody else and you're gonna be the one sick and having to recover. And they're gonna be find somebody for your position. Cause jobs is not gonna be loyal to you, but you loyal to a job. But I do that. But it's okay. Cause like I said, I don't you know, I don't have to I don't have to prove anything to anybody but God. All I have to do is be me. And that's been since day one. Um, I have no reason to come on YouTube 
and be anything other than me and I'm not going to be for anybody um, and if you are who you are and you're honest about that it's going to continue to show um, in everything that you do and that's one thing that's consistent with us and our family we always just going to be who we are and we're not going to put on for nobody else we're going to share the good we're going to share the bad the ups and the downs because it happens and like I said at the beginning of this video if anybody wants to judge it negatively then that's okay because I just pray that you know it doesn't come back on you because it does trust me they got a lot of people out here praying bad prayers for people and want to always come down on people and then they come right back on because one thing you never want to do is mess with a child of God because I pray I do I know I say I tell y'all that often, but I just really put, I put everything in God's hands. Because people can say whatever they're going to say, and they can try to do what they're going to do. But, you know, ain't nobody going to protect you like him. So, but y'all have a great evening. Y'all be blessed. Say goodnight, Philip. I mean, say bye, Philip and Realte. I'll Night. see you later. Yeah. You are leaving the news report. And I'll see y'all later. Oh, yeah. Everything is gonna work out fine. Everything is gonna be okay. Everything is gonna come on time. All I gotta do is live today. Everything is gonna end just right. Everything is gonna fall in place. Don't worry about you and stop worrying about things.